The creed of the Assassin Brotherhood teaches us that nothing is forbidden to us. Once, I thought that meant we were free to do as we would, to pursue our ideals no matter the cost. I understand now. Not a grant of permission, the creed is a warning. Ideals too easily give way to dogma. Dogma becomes fanaticism. No higher power sits in judgment of us. No supreme being watches to punish us for our sins. In the end, only we ourselves can guard against our obsessions. Only we can decide whether the road we walk carries too high a toll. We believe ourselves redeemers, avengers, saviors. We make war on those who oppose us, and they in turn make war on us. We dream of leaving our stamp upon the world. Even as we give our lives in a conflict that will be recorded in no history book. All that we do, all that we are, begins and ends with ourselves. Damn, that's kind of gruesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, done, finished. It's taking a long time to play this fucking game. I don't believe what I'm seeing. I won this fight two centuries before it started. Well done, kid. Uh, I don't think Abstergo will bother searching the catacombs for Jermaine's body. The bones are going to be too damaged, too decayed. We're in the clear of this stage. You did good work, Initiate. Until we contact you again, the best you can do is continue searching on those memories for anything else you might have seen, like rare historical data, more DNA samples, anything to help our cause. We'll be in touch when we need you. Count on it. Right, this bitch fucking rudely interrupted me. Fucking bitch. Anyway, um, so yeah, the game is finally finished. Um, it's taken a long time to fucking do this game. Uh, no thanks to um, you know me, family life and all that stuff. But anyway, that's besides the point. Game, was it the best Assassin's Creed? No. All right, that's without a shadow of a doubt. I think the best Assassin's Creed that I played was, uh, it was the second Assassin's Creed, uh, the second um, iteration of Etsy, not the first one. Second one. I forgot the name of it though. Um, that was the best Assassin's Creed um, for me. I mean, the story really developed. I think. Uh, plus, he had his home base that he could develop, and I, I don't know. Just I like that sort of stuff. And it's quite big as well. There's loads of um, cities. That, well, I think there was uh, Firenze, uh, his hometown, and another place as well. I think there's two other cities. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I played that game. Anyway, that was the best Assassin's Creed for me. This one. The city is the star of the show. I don't care what you say, this is next gen graphics, all right? Especially on the PC. If you guys are playing on the console, I really do feel for you. Because when you look at comparison videos, it. YouTube, obviously, you got God to take into account YouTube's compression, all right? That doesn't do the PC graphics justice. Second of all, on the PC, um, you have uh, other shaders that are available that are just not available on the 
on the AMD based consoles. And it's a shame because when you add all those little subtle changes together, it makes a huge change, in my opinion, to the world and how the lighting affects it. And it just overall, it just enhances the experience. Now, if you're a graphics whore like me, then great. If you're not, I'm not saying I'm not bashing the console. I'm just saying that it's a shame that it doesn't run as well as it does on the PC, even though this game is unoptimized to fuck and it is buggy. Um, and you do need like ridiculous horsepower just to play this damn game. But um, it is what it is. Um, I enjoyed it still. I mean, even though it's not the best Assassin's Creed, it's better than that fucking Assassin's Creed 3 with Connor in it. That was the worst fucking Assassin's Creed I've ever played in my entire life. That was such a bore to play. But anyway, review of this game. Um, let's see. I would honestly give it a 7 out of 10, in my opinion. 7 out of 10 the game because the city was i mean i enjoy doing all the missions i really did I, and it's not often that i complete every single assassin's contract i guess there weren't that many there were many but there weren't as many as they usually are so i guess that kept me going um the collectibles are a lot but i still had a lot of fun collecting all the ones that i could find i really did enjoy it um and the story but the story is a bit weak if you ask me i don't know if they're kind of setting the the breadcrumbs in place for the next one um and i really uh, you know um so that's what i'm hoping and if they don't then this assassin creed is a six then um because i can appreciate that they're trying to set the story for future iterations of this kind of arnold's kind of timeline which would be amazing if they did that but if they didn't then it's a six out of ten so i can i'll give them kudos for that Send the breadcrumbs, send the foundations of this character, the new protagonist, and all that fun stuff. But all in all, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, in fact, I'll revise I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10, that's what I'd give it. The start of the show has to be the city itself. Um, very densely populated, loads of uh, AI, uh, um, you know, civilians and stuff. And it just brings the city to, uh, all to life. And I, and I really like that. You know, I, I never did I feel the city was empty, nothing like that. It was really good. Um, I liked Arno as well. I think it was I could relate to him, not personally, but I mean, like as a protagonist, as you, as as a guy, he's brash, he's bold, he's uh, articulate, he is, you know, he's tall, dark, handsome chap, and and you know, it's it's what you want from your main guy. You don't want no boring guy, like, you know, and it's quite funny as well. Um, so yeah, um, in that way, I, I kind of liked him. So yeah, all in all, just to sort of recap and summarize. 6 out of 10 for the game, uh, 6.5 sorry, uh, uh, for the game, star of the show is a city, uh, graphically is good, obviously optimizations are still required, I'm sure they'll come but it's too late now because I've finished the fucking game, so oh well, but anyway, I still enjoyed it, I would recommend this game, uh, I would recommend it now because a lot of the bugs have been fixed, online does seem to be working, certain things don't work like initiates, well they work every now and again, but I'm still not complaining. I still enjoyed it. Uh, if you are a big Assassin's Creed fan, pick this game up when it, you know, um, you may be able to get it on sale now, a bit cheaper. Definitely pick this game up. It is still fun. It is still always good to keep up the story. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, shame that there's no more Desmond. Uh, I really liked him. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to fast forward this and see if there's anything that we... I'm glad that they've put this fast forward thing in now. So kudos for that. Otherwise, you have to sit here up fucking day just to see if there's any sort of last kind of um cut scenes or anything that we missed and i don't really want to miss anything so it is what it is anyway um leave a comment in the comment section below if you have played this game what you thought of the game what your comments are if you liked it if you didn't like it if you agree with my conclusion my opinions of it if you don't whatever just let me know. Uh, it'd be interesting to speak to other Assassin's Creed fans just to see what they think of the game. Um, yeah, just let me know. All right. Oh yeah, one more thing. It's a shame that they didn't um, go with Napoleon Bonaparte uh, as much as they could have done because um, usually in Assassin's Creed they always have like one kind of main guy from the history books, um, like Leonardo da Vinci and stuff, and he has like a main role to play in the game. In this one, they didn't really have that. Uh, I mean, okay, they had a lease, but she kind of came in and out uh, when necessary. And uh, I don't know, it just um, didn't, it just, like, Etsy always had allies and stuff. And I think that's what Assassin's Creed should be about. And this one, not so much. It's a bit of a shame. 
but what can you do you can't have it all can you i guess i mean they can't go back to the old uh, assassin's creed now can they because it's been done otherwise people would complain that there's no development and blah 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 you know the youtube police will be out in force and i just realized one thing how many fucking people does it take to make a fucking game holy shit Come on. Anyway, um, if there is a cutscene, I'll leave it in. If not, then um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to this channel. I like the video. Um, and yeah, it's your boy again, Akil Strafe. Uh, and I'll be hunting out for some more games. Hopefully, I can get them done uh, quicker this time. Highly unlikely, though, but I will do my best. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And peace. Hello, um, just one last thing uh, before I end this shit, uh, I thought I'd just leave this in here as well, just so you guys can check out the armour, um, it's not bad, it's not bad, it does fit the, the period nicely, give it that, it does have better um, physics as well, like the way the drapes come down and stuff, which is always a good thing. But it's, um, I like the more custom ones. Um, kind of stuck with that way, really. Um, and obviously some of the legacy ones that you get as well, which is quite nice. Uh, apparently I've unlocked another legacy one. Uh, let me go and quickly check that out. Which way is it? Um, the training. Oh shit, this way. And go this way. Let's have a quick look. Whoa. Alright, so I've got that one, I'll try that one, I'll try that one. Wait, what? Oh shit, I haven't got Altair's outfit? I thought I did unlock it, no? One by Altair must use a component unit. I've unlocked it, man! Ah, oh. Alright, well, it looks like I'm going to have to unlock that shit, I need to get 100% on this one. So yeah, uh, thank you very, very much for watching, if you have been watching, much appreciated. Uh, and yeah, I'm definitely signing out now, so pieces.